Hi Scorpios, welcome to my channel. This is going to be a November love reading for all Scorpio placements. I just want to say a happy birthday to our lovely November Scorpios. Um, I am an October Scorpio, so happy belated birthday to the October Scorpios and a very, very happy birthday to the, to the November Scorpios, okay? Um, if you want to check out the links below my website for personal readings, um, merchandise, etc., feel free to. Thank you so much for all the support and love, okay? Let's get into the card, Scorpio. We have codependency. Free yourself in reverse, okay? So automatically, Scorpio... There definitely is an energy here of there could have been a person in your life when it comes to love who was quite um, codependent upon your energy. Um, that's how it's coming across in the cards to me, okay? There could have been somebody here who I feel was addicted to you, okay? Like could not get enough of you, but it may have not been in the most healthiest way. I kind of feel like this person, Scorpio, was pulling upon your energy, okay? Um, I'm getting lots of Capricorn, Cancer, Leo, Sagittarius, and fellow Scorpio vibes here, okay? And we have the let your friends help you fall out underneath behind the free yourself in reverse, okay? So there is something that you you can't quite seem to get yourself unstuck from, Scorpio. I'm, not, You know, it kind of feels like maybe in the past you've tried to walk away. You've tried to, like, detach yourself from this person. But it's, it's not really going as smoothly as you would have liked it to is what it is kind of how it comes across these are also general messages so take what applies okay red flag express your love in reverse okay so somebody here okay this is what i'm getting scorpio this person definitely could have been trying to get with you or pull upon your energy for selfish reasons all right there is something that i feel scorpio you have found out about this person now whatever the secret was you could have found this out years ago or recently you know it's going to depend upon um your own circumstance and situation like for those of you you could have found this out you know, months ago, you know, years ago. But then for others of you, this may have been a very, very recent, recent thing, okay, where you just realized um, this person's true colors of, of, of recent, okay? So we do have the card of red flag. So I do feel for some reason to, to read what it says in the book. I mean, I don't need it, but I just feel like there could be a message with that card. So that's actually very, very rare for me to pull an oracle card and need to read like everything so this must be a very very important thing for you scorpio let's see why spirit has me reading this for you let's see why the red flag let's see what they say about the red flag scorpio there we have it okay let's see why the signs are cautioning you okay this card is to help you notice the unhealthy or dis or dis why well, i don't know what that says okay this is to help you notice the unhealthy or wrong parts of the relationship. If you are swept up in a new romance, this card serves as a cautionary warning. Pay attention to your feelings and impressions with regard to your new suitor. Don't allow emotion to blind you to the characteristics of this person or habits that won't work for you in the relationship. Okay, I put my own spin on that if you couldn't tell. Um, so... Yeah, there's something, there's a very selfish energy here. I'm not sure exactly where it's coming from, Scorpio, but there is there is definitely a, a selfish energy here, okay? So this could be how you're feeling about this person, or this is how this person could be seeing you, okay? If you cut someone off, if you told someone to go to hell, you know, this person could be seeing you as being selfish because you pulled your energy back but what i do feel based upon the card scorpio is that you're trying to protect your peace you know overall i really feel scorpio like you're trying to really protect your peace and i want to commend you for that okay we're not living in we're not living in easy times so there is definitely an element here scorpio of you not wanting to put up with any shenanigans or any kind of foolery 
And, you know, there definitely could, could be people in your life, um, especially when it comes to love, who I feel don't really want to see you move away. You know, they don't really want to see you stand, stand in your power. You know, this person could have talked down to you. This person could have told you that you're never going to find no one like them. But I feel like that's the point, you know. So this could have been a breakup. You know, this could have been a, a situation where somebody had to block someone. But overall, Scorpio, I definitely feel like you're doing what's best for you, okay? And because you're doing what's best for you, I feel like this ex of yours, whoever this person is I'm picking up on um, in your energy, obviously doesn't like that, okay? They don't like the fact that you are um, wanting to seek peace and harmony, and especially like in your environment, okay? There is also energy here, Scorpio, of like, you know, bigger and better things, you know, definitely taking care of um, yourself. And I definitely feel like there's a lot of abundance here for you as well. Okay. There's also a lot of abundance here for you. I definitely feel that. Okay. And this person could be wanting to have a piece of the pie. Okay. Regardless of gender, there could be, I feel an ex. Uh, I don't want to say karmic. I hate titles, but this could be somebody who uh, may have not had like the most pure, purest of intent. And so if you are doing a lot better than how they first saw you, this person could be wanting to kind of get back in your life because you are doing so much better than how you were before. Okay. And we also had the page of swords. We have the page of swords. So this person is definitely watching you. This person is watching you like crazy. Oh my God, Scorpio. This person is, it's a weird energy because I feel like this person could have love for you, but there's also another side of this person where they could be jealous of you as well. Like they love you. They have, they're attracted to you, but at the same time, they could be jealous of you, which is very, very toxic, right? Like this is somebody who, you know, is coming around to support you when it suits them okay and that's kind of how you could have um what you could have experienced with this person in the past as well is that you know this person comes around when they feel like it right this person comes around when they want to um be in your life and they want to step up but rarely do they ever come around when you need them scorpio so that's what i'm saying like i really feel like you figured people out you know you figure you you have figured a lot of people out Knight of Cups. So because you figure this person out, Scorpio, they're not happy, okay? This person is not happy with you, okay? But who cares? You know what I'm saying? Like, you have a very graceful energy this month, Scorpio, of who cares? You know, it's not it's not nonchalant or um I wouldn't say that it's 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 dismissive, but it's definitely more of an energy Scorpio of like, I'm going to do what's best for for me. And if you don't like it, you can basically go bleep yourself. Um, that's the energy I'm getting. OK, so, yeah, people people this month may not like it, but I definitely feel like it's it, for you, Scorpio, in your own personal life. It's a step in the right direction. You know, that is that is for sure. Like it's a step in the right direction. OK. It's a step in the right direction for you because you have caught on to the red flags. You see what I'm saying? Like you do see their selfish behavior. And so it's kind of like an eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. Like if this person was selfish, now you're going to take back your power and be selfish for yourself. You know what I'm saying? Like put the energy back into your own cup. So make no mistake, Scorpio. This also could be an air sign. Um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, I feel like this person is watching you like they watch everything you do because they want to be in your life. OK, this is the person, Scorpio, that you could have told this person to leave your life. This could have also been a person where you told this person to never come back, you know, never talk to you again. I'm getting lots of feisty energy here. Yeah, this caused a lot of heartbreak. So, yeah, Scorpio, if you told this person off, this person is heartbroken. But the reality is, is that, you know, there was red flags. There was there was obviously something that caused you to move away. Like what I feel from your perspective, Scorpio, is what you're saying is you didn't move away for no reason. Right. You didn't cut this person off for no reason. There was obviously a reason. And I do feel like spirit showed you that, you know seven of wands so protecting yourself protecting what's yours the lovers reverse so i see that you're closing the door on someone scorpio i see you closing the door 
okay that's what i see for november you holding your ground and for now that door is closed okay that there is no more opportunity yes yes scorpio this person's gonna try to fight you to the death five of wands this person may still try to fight to be in your life or to get back at you or revenge or whatever it's like a mixed energy of like love and hate love and hate so this person may still try their best but I really feel, Scorpio, that you're going to be kind of focusing on yourself. Actually, not kind of. You are. You are going to be focusing on yourself, Scorpio. Yeah, you're going to be focusing on yourself, and that's what you need to do for now, okay? Let's get two more here. I feel two more wants to come out. Magician. Uh, ma magician. And the world. So, yeah, Scorpio, I see you going into a lot of success money okay so protect your assets protect your money you know um keep a keep a close circle keep a good loyal tight circle that's how you're going to be successful and keep successful scorpio is keep people around you who you know mean you well okay and don't want to bring harm to you all right love you scorpio so much thank you for watching feel free to subscribe thumbs up and links are in the box below to check out support uh purchase etc all right i will see you in the next video bye